In the financial industry, an important law related to privacy and data security is Graham Leach Bliley. Graham Leach Bliley applies to all financial institutions in the United States, which is a broadly defined concept. Financial institutions include not only banks and credit unions, but other organizations, even like a pawn shop, that uh, provide uh, consumer loans. It also includes organizations that process consumer financial information. Graham Leach Bliley provides for techniques that all of these financial institutions need to follow in order to secure consumer personally identifiable information. And these uh, expectations for security are generally incorporated into something that's known as the safeguards rule. The safeguards rule has been adopted by uh, the uh, various regulators that would apply within your part of the financial uh, industry. So, for example, if you are a bank, you'd look to, uh, for example, the uh, uh, Office of the Comptroller of the Currency for the particular version of the safeguards rule that applies to you. If you're a, a, a pawn shop, uh, you would look to the version of the safeguards rule that is published by the Federal Trade Commission. Broadly speaking, the safeguards rule has five major points that it expects a financial institution to cover in its security program. The first point is to designate a coordinator. So a coordinator would be a, a, a official within your organization who has the authority to implement controls and to review controls and ensure that the controls are actually in place for securing data. The second point out of Graham Leach Bliley safeguards rule is that the financial institution needs to have a risk assessment. So a risk assessment evaluates the risks that some breach of security could compromise the privacy of person identifiable information. Based then on that risk assessment, the organization needs uh, to have what I call the third major point of the safeguards rule. And that is logical controls that are based on the risk assessment. So the risk assessment for a pawn shop is going to be different from the risk assessment that applies, applies to a large bank. But in each case, the bank and the uh, pawn shop need then to implement logical, logical proportionate controls that respond to the, uh, the risks that have been identified in the risk assessment. The fourth point in the safeguards rule is that the financial institution needs to ensure that it has appropriate controls with its vendors, those uh, organizations who process data on behalf of the financial institution. And so, of course, uh, the way to achieve those controls would be to have an appropriate contract with the vendor, have audit of the vendor, have certifications from the vendor to confirm that the vendor is implementing the appropriate types of uh, controls and, and maybe reporting any security incidents or breaches that the vendor uh, suffers. Finally, the fifth point in the safeguards rule is that the financial institution needs to maintain an ongoing process for reviewing and updating its security controls. Hence, Graham Leach Bliley is not a snapshot requirement. It's not just the requirement to go, snap, I'm looking at my security, I've confirmed my security is good, I'm done. Instead, Graham Leach Bliley emphasizes through the safeguards rule that organizations uh, have a, a never-ending requirement to be reviewing their controls and ensuring that they are uh, secure and that their vendors have appropriate security for consumer personally identifiable information. In order to learn more about the course that I teach at the SANS Institute, you can click the link below. Also, another link below uh, provides more information about me and my work in private practice.